Hi everybody. Well, we don't have long to wait now. The brand new Ford Bronco is going to be revealed in the spring of 2020, so just a few months. But until then, well, of course, we're gonna sit around and speculate about this upcoming Jeep fighter. So in this video, we're gonna cover all the rumors about the Bronco, all of the confirmed information, and we're gonna kick it off by going over some renderings that were just published by an artist, giving us a sense for what the Bronco could look like. Here they are, let me know what you think. Let's jump into it. So these renderings were posted to Bronco 6G. That's a forum and the user that posted them is called Top Recon. Now, Ford has already given us a sense of what the Bronco will look like with two different pieces of info. First of all, this teaser image right here gives you a good sense for the proportions of the Bronco. And then of course we have the Bronco R race prototype. So Ford actually took this Bronco R to the Baja 1000 this year. And although of course this is a purpose built off-road racing machine, the actual bodywork here, it is also foreshadowing what the Bronco will look like. Now we have already heard from Ford that the Bronco was supposed to be an open air model and these renderings definitely show that. Now you can see here on this Bronco R model, not only is it open air, but there's also some tube doors, a lot like what you find on a Wrangler, big tow hooks up front, and this rendering also shows a winch in the middle. Then if you see this rendering here from this back top corner angle, you see what the Bronco will look like with the full roof on. Obviously those roof panels are going to be removable. We're not exactly sure if it'll be one solid piece or maybe Bronco will also do what Wrangler does now and offer some type of soft top roof. That remains to be seen. The different renderings also show different grills. So here you can see this blue Bronco looks to be maybe a little bit more of a city version of the Bronco. It has a unique grill compared to the other more off-road ready models. Now, of course, when you see the Bronco from the back, there is a full size spare tire and it's not clear how this artist thinks that tailgate is going to open, whether it will drop down like a pickup truck or is side hinged like a Wrangler. Then when looking at this green Bronco here, we see what this little truck is going to look like with everything stripped off of it. No doors and no roof. A pretty cool look. Finally, you have this blue Bronco, which is very interesting. This one is suggesting that the back end of this vehicle will be used more as a bed, like a pickup truck. I'm not sure that one will actually uh, come to fruition. I think Ford is going to use that space for passengers rather than cargo. But once again, the true design remains to be seen. These renderings are based on another photo as well, which has been circulating online, you can see it right here. This photo claims to be the production ready headlight for the new Bronco with that classic circle design, making sure to tie in Broncos of old. Now I want you to go below into the comments and let me know what you think of these renderings. Would you be happy if the Bronco actually looked like this? Now, we don't know what it's gonna look like, but we do have some information on what the Bronco is going to be. And for all of you off-roaders out there, be happy that the basic recipe will be a good one. That is solid axles, four-wheel drive, and an open-air roof. Now that is the perfect combination to tackle the Jeep Wrangler, and I really believe that is what the Ford Bronco is going to set out to do. Now because of that, it makes perfect sense that we will see both two and four door versions of the Bronco. Plus, the doors apparently will be removable on Bronco as well, and Ford apparently has engineered a spot in the back of the Bronco where the doors will actually store. We haven't seen that yet, but that will be cool. And once again, just another thing that might give the Bronco a leg up on the Wrangler. Now we have to talk about powertrains because we definitely do not know what's coming in the Bronco, but we have a good idea of some of the different choices. So one of the obvious engines for this new SUV would be the 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder that you're gonna find in the Ford Ranger. Now in the Ranger, this thing makes 270 horsepower and just a little over 300 pound feet of torque made it to a 10 speed automatic. Not bad numbers and probably would be more than enough for this Bronco. However, in the Bronco R, the Baja race version of the truck, 
Ford used a twin turbo V6. Assumably that was the three and a half liter EcoBoost V6. We don't know for sure. It could also be a three liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine. And uh, I think that that 2.3 liter EcoBoost would be a perfect base engine. And then you could step up into this bigger three or three and a half liter, puts out tons of power. That would be a great way to make your powertrains work for it. So you better do it. Now the big EcoBoost could even find its way into a Bronco Raptor. Now that's actually another name we haven't had confirmed yet for Bronco. We don't know if Ford's gonna call their high performance version the Bronco Raptor, maybe just the Bronco R because that's already what they've called this Baja version. I personally think it would be cool if they kept the Raptor name alive on its off-road variant, but once again, time will tell. So that's really it for solid information on the Bronco guys and we do know it's coming in the spring. Like I said off the top, we don't have long to wait now and I cannot wait to see what this new Ford brings. Now besides the fact that the Bronco is coming, there's also a baby Bronco coming. Ford has also confirmed that there will be a smaller version of this Bronco SUV, um, likely more of a city going version, but I think any vehicle with the name Bronco on it will probably have some sort of offer road credentials. So we're not just getting one Bronco from Ford, we're getting two Broncos for Ford, which makes me twice as happy. And one last little design cue I want to point out, the Bronco right across the grill, well that will be making it to production. The designer told us that at the drive for the Bronco R. Plus, it kind of mirrors what you see on Toyotas nowadays with the big Toyota badge across the front. Jeep hasn't been shy making the Jeep badge big, you know, especially on the back of the new Gladiator. So a big Bronco badge up front is gonna announce that this new Ford SUV is back. So guys, that's it for this video. Why don't you go below into the comments, let you know, let us know what you think of the new Bronco. And as always, make sure while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come back to the channel for the latest news views and real world reviews. See ya.